Little Bitch Craze and I have a product review for you today, um, shampoo. So I tried a couple of new shampoos recently, wanted to share the results with you. Um, not a new company from Burt's Bees, many of you I'm sure use Burt's Bees products. Um, it's important to note that although they are completely natural, of course they're not all vegan because bees, yeah. Um, but many of their products are not made with bee products. So just important to check the labels. The two products I'm reviewing today, of course, are bee-free, so they are vegan and completely natural. Overall, I love Bird's Bees products. They're pretty um, inexpensive and accessible. You can find them almost anywhere. So really like a lot of their products. Their shampoo um, is one thing that I have not tried. So I tried two of them. The most recent um, is their super shiny shampoo. It looks like this. It just says Bird's Bees sulfate-free on the front. Really important. Lathers really nice, though, despite the um, lack of sulfates. This is their super shiny shampoo mm -hmm. with mango. So um, this is what it looks like. I also tried their um, pomegranate one, uh, which is supposed to be volumizing. Um, both of them I would say, meh. Um, the pomegranate one, I really did not like that much. We definitely would not repurchase it. I just didn't find that it was volumizing at all. It was not a bad shampoo. Um, you know, I didn't really have any complaints about it, but it didn't do anything for me, and it's supposed to be volumizing and, and didn't really do that. So um, that one was kind of, uh, who cares, um, not, not good enough for me to repurchase. And the scent, pomegranate, you'd think would be, you know, really tasty smelling, but actually it was a very... Um, I don't know, kind of herbal smell, grassy almost. So it was not a sweet, fruity scent. So if you are averse to um, great, sweet, uh, fruity scents, then that might be something that you would like. But um, I was kind of bummed out by it. It just wasn't appealing to me. Definitely a unisex scent. So guys, that's something you might want to try. Um, but the uh, mango, the one that I just recently finished off, um, this one I liked a lot better. Um, it says super shiny. I wouldn't say it's super shiny, but definitely I could see an improvement within a few weeks of using it. So, um, you know, if you have really frizzy hair like I naturally do, um, especially in the winter time, it can really help to smooth it out. So um, that's been really nice for me. The only complaint that I had is that I have um, pretty fine hair and very thin hair. So something um, that's um, very moisturizing can weigh it down a little bit. And I did find that this weighs it down just a little bit. So if you have very fine or thin hair, um, I, I would take a warning on this one before you try it. Um, but if you have, you know, normal hair or even um, thicker, denser, coarser hair, then you would probably find this to be a fantastic product. Just a little bit too heavy for me. Um, yeah, but other than that, I felt like it was very moisturizing. Um, again, the mango scent is so subtle. It really does not smell fruity at all. Um, more like an, like an herbal kind of nondescript scent. So um, if you um, don't like strong or fruity scents, again, this is another really good product mm -hmm. for you. And guys, don't be afraid of it because... It's a very mild scent. So um, this one, I would say I probably would not purchase again just because it's a little too heavy for my hair, but would definitely recommend it to people who are looking for um, a light moisturizer um, in their in their shampoo. The other one, I would say, you know, skip it. It doesn't do anything for you. If you're just looking for a nondescript shampoo, then, then that would be fine. But, um, you know, if you're looking for the volumizing aspect of it, it's a major bummer. So that's my two cents. So those are the only two Burt's Bees shampoos that I can find, actually. They have... Um, their offshoot brand, Good, which also has a number of shampoos that I haven't tried, but as far as their regular branding, um, Burt's Bees, I have not found any others. So, tried them both. So, there's your review. Let me know if you've tried them and you have a um, differing perspective. I would love to hear it. Leave it in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this about vegan food, beauty, and lifestyle. Definitely follow us on social media on Facebook and Twitter, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.